Hey, good morning guys. It's Hope from Seedaholic Gardens. For those of you who are new to our channel, hello, my name is Hope and I am a Seedaholic. And for those of you who are returning, say it with me. Hello, my name is and I'm a Seedaholic. If you didn't say it, you should have because you know you are. And what I'm doing here is a bit different of a seed haul. This is like the title says, a blessing. My friend Kate from Talking Threads Media sent me all of this. And I just wanted to go over some of the things she sent because it, it was, I was gobsmacked. It was so awesome. But the first thing I want to show you, she sent me this list of cucumbers she saved family. Um, and that's squashes and pumpkins. And this, what I'm trying to get, is the very first one here. This Adapazari, A D A P A Z. A R I if you cannot read that and this is um, in the Maxima family and that will tell you uh, what she did with this list is tell me um, that there are four families of squash and she's looking for the Adipazari herself and I don't have any so if you guys have seeds for that or you can get seeds for that please 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 get me some so I can get them to Kate then the next one is Mixta, M-I-X-T-A. Then there's Moshada and there are Pepo. And I'm sure a lot of you have heard people talk about the Moshada, the Pepo, and the Maxima, but a lot of us forget that there's Mixtas, which is like the Kushas. And then she sent me seeds, and she sent me newsletters from her garden club from Olympia, Washington. She sent me February, March, and April. And these are such a wealth of information. And she sent me one to my email just you know as a gesture and I read it and it was so good the seed stories the things that her club is doing and you know I'm a member of my own local club but I liked her newsletter so well I wanted to be able to get them I asked could I join hers and she let me even though I'm in Chicago and she's in Washington State and I thought it was so awesome so even before I filmed this uh, that's why you didn't see me open this when I saw that I had to read them so I read all three of those like boom and now I'm keeping them because I'm going to reread them but she sent me a whole bunch of seeds as you saw from the beginning pan the one that she sent me that really gobsmacked me was for this one this is called Algonquin squash and this one Travis from Hoff's Tools and Greg are growing out this year for a seed crop and it looks like this picture that we showed you a little bit ago is a picture of her ones she grew and harvested seeds from. And, I mean, aren't they just gorgeous, you guys? So, um, she sent me five packs of five seeds, but I only have four to show you because I was so excited. We were planting some things up at the church, and we put in five up there. They are a pepo, it says. I don't know how many days. Um, she did tell me that she grew them organically at her house, but that's all I know, so I have to do a little research. But anyways, I'm very excited to get those because I made a comment on Travis's crop saying you gotta get me some of those seeds. And she says, I have seeds, give me your address and I'll send you some. So I thought she was gonna send me, you know, five, maybe 10 of those. Then she sent me all of this. She sent me a recipe to use to cook them, you guys. Oh gosh, for squash soup. And the <coughs> details of this recipe sounds very much like, um that store with the clean foods recipe that we all love. So I'm very excited about that because I love, love, love that recipe. Then she sent me fava beans, which I've never grown before. And I thought, how interesting to try. And these are a self say. She um, said these are brought from Guatemala to the States by Ianto Evans. And I don't know if he's a member of her garden club or not, but I thought, okay. I am going to grow these because I know in the UK they're grown very extensively and I figure with 10 seeds I'll make sure I save at least 10 pods to save my own seeds going forward but I think these are the ones where you take out the hole and you peel each bean to get to the tender part and she sent me a picture so I know how to differentiate what's ready to eat and what's ready to harvest to save seed for and then um she sent me one called white acorn which looks like a kind of like a pumpkin but it has it labeled as a squash so I'm gonna try and grow that out because you know I'm all over squash and cucurbits this year then she sent me um, a canary melon 
El La Cahi Melon Melon. She sent me five seeds. And it says a rare variety from Turkey. And there's the spelling a little closer, but I will list everything down below in case I'm saying things wrong, because a lot of these names, honey, I can't even pronounce, and I'm pretty good at a lot of pronunciation. If they're Latin, but certain things, not so much. She sent me a Petit Prix de Rennes, and I know this is a melon from France, and we know that the French and the way they grow melons, they are brilliant, so I can't wait to try that. I'm so excited. And then she sent me Honeydew, and this is called Oliver's Pearl. This is a member of her garden club as well. Um, she, it's a honeydew type, and he sent her some seeds. She grew them out and shared, uh, apparently with members of the garden club and me. <laughs> she sent me near the Tuscana um, cabbage, um, which is a kale. She sent um, some of this you guys this is one i was fussing at baker creek earlier this year which i had to go back and apologize for they said they were out of these carrots and i really wanted these and um they weren't out of stock they just hadn't gotten the seed stock ready yet but i couldn't get them and she sent me some so i can't wait to grow these out and save my own seeds and for those of you who do not know for root crops they are biennial for seed you grow them this year leave some in the ground and get the seeds next year. You don't grow them to seed this year like you would a tomato or a squash. You gotta wait. But she sent me so many tomatoes. She sent me yellow vernissage, which this is a Baker Creek. And I get their catalog. I've been getting their catalog since 2012, eight years at least. And I've never seen that variety, although I've seen the black and the pink and the green. I've never seen the yellow, so I'm really excited to try that. She sent me a cream sausage tomato, a blueberry tomato, Principe Borghese tomato and mortgage lister. A um, couple are duplicates, but that's okay. They're tomato seeds, and you know how we all feel about tomatoes. You know they're the number one grown vegetable in the world, right? So then she sent me some rare varieties, which I saved for you for last. She sent me Bosraya. I don't know where this comes from. I'm going to have to ask her some questions, or if you're watching this, Kate, give me some history. Um, I don't know if it's a slicer. I don't know what kind of tomato it is, but I'm going to find out. And I'll let you guys know. Or read the comments when she answers, and you can learn along with me. But this one is called Shugorin Pembezi. And I'm going to get that as close as I can, because I'm sure I messed that pronunciation completely up. And she only sent me three because it's rare. Three seeds. It's a pink slicer she put on this one. It's a rare variety, also from Turkey. Then she sent me Hafize Balic, or Hafiz Balic. And it's another rare variety from Turkey. She sent me three seeds. Then this one, she only sent me two seeds, so this must be the most rare one of all. And it's called Nature's Riddle, just like it sounds. But there, in one of these newsletters, I did read the story of this one. Um, Kathy Taylor had saved a whole crop of these and put them in her barn, and her barn flooded. So she lost her entire seed stash. So there's a bunch of us trying to grow this one out. So this one, she said she's going to grow in isolation. So am I. Because we're trying to grow this seed stock back out for Kathy to get her seed stash replaced. So, again, add that Pizari squash if you have seed, if you can get seed. And I checked Google the one place that had it. Two feeds in a pod. It's shut down, so I couldn't get it. So if you've got some that you say, please send me some and I will get them to Kate. And I think that's all I have for you, but that's why my title is what it is. It's such a blessing of seeds and a blessing of friendship. That's what this gardening community, I think, on YouTube is about. You build relationships, you talk about your garden, but you build relationships and make friends. So, as always, blessings of bounty, and may your garden and your life always bring you joy, inspiration, and abundance. And if you're lucky like me and it's got an abundance of seeds, hopefully you will at some point get some seeds and abundance of these types of blessings too. God bless you all. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.